if we as a society can't protect our children, that's a sad state of affairs. Howdy, y'all. Uncle T here. I just came across some more video of our, yeah, favorite kind of people in the world, huh? And uh, I'm going to break this one up into two parts as well because Sheriff Grady Judd, he is good at what he does, and he does it pretty regular. And so there's a lot of people on here that uh, you're going to have to cover. So uh, this will be part one, and I will do part two the next day or so. I've got some things going on. So anyways, help yourselves. Hey, but let's get to our primary reason for being here first. As you well know, the men and women of the Sheriff's Office, number one priority is to protect your children, protect our children, protect all of the children. If we as a society can't protect our children, that's a sad state of affairs. But that doesn't happen in Polk County because of the hard work of the Sheriff's Office. Let me go over two operations that we've completed. And neither of them are a surprise to you because Operation Guardians of the Innocent, this is number four, and we call it our fall hall. And at the same time, we did Operation Trick of Treat during the month of October to make sure our sex offenders were appropriately registering and living where they were supposed to live. So when you look at our Operation Fall Hall and our Operation Trick or Treat, this is the most we've arrested that we can remember at one time. Some people just never learn, and that's why we're here today. We made a total of 31 arrests. 17 of them was as a result of Fall Hall and 14 as a result of trick-or-treat. That There will be many more felony charges filed later on. But let me give you a snapshot of just this group of people. These folks, just this group, had 499 previous charges. 499 previous criminal charges. And so why do I highlight that? There are people marching around the state and the country saying we're too tough on criminals. We lock up too many people. Well, if that were true, if we didn't give breaks, if we didn't have probations, if we didn't have diversions, and you looked at all of their criminal history, and all of their criminal history is not sex-related, but if you looked at all of that, 499 cases, certainly they'd all be in prison forever. So for those of you who continue to say to our constituency, oh, we got this too tough criminal justice system, we need to let people out, quit lying to the community. Quit lying to the community. On these folks here, we have filed 672 new felony charges. And we know the overwhelming majority of people that engage in watching child pornography, the overwhelming majority of them would subsequently have sex with children given the opportunity. Here's William Haig. He's our oldest person. He spent over 30 years working for the Polk County School District. 30 years. He was a teacher an administrator, an assistant school, middle, an assistant principal at a middle school. We've charged him with 252 counts of child porn. He confessed. Now I want you to know he's been retired for about 18 years, so it's not like he's had any recent conduct, contact with our stu students in school. He's currently in jail. He's married, and he has adult children. His child porn was normally children as young as eight years of age. When we served the search warrant, he was engaged in an active chat about how to have sex with children. Then there's Britt Kenny. Britt Kenny's 40. He is a manager for Disney in the entertainment department. Britt has worked for 15 years for Disney. 
We've arrested him two times. We arrested him once and he bonded out and we found additional materials and we put him back in prison or in the county jail. He's married. He doesn't have any children. We charged him with 24 counts of child porn. He said he's been viewing child porn for 22 years and he fantasizes. He fantasizes that he's the child being victimized in the child porn that he watches. He prefers children as young as two or three years old. This guy is scary. This guy is a deviant. This guy is a person who has deep-rooted sexual issues. He's in jail, and he confessed. Well, he's not by himself. There's another Disney employee by the name of Donald Durr. He's 52 years of age. He has worked with Disney for 20-plus years. He's currently assigned maintenance in the hotels. And he said, are you ready for this? You know, you can't make this stuff up. Here's what Donald told us during this interview. I'm a pervert, but I'm not a monster. Are you kidding me? I agree with the first part of your statement. You are a pervert, but here's a newsflash. You're also a monster, a monster with a capital M. We charged him with eight counts of possession of child porn. He's still in the jail. How about Edgar Villegas? He's 28. Edgar's already been to prison for possession of child porn. He spent six years. He prefers children as young as two years of age. He was released from prison. Are you ready for this? He was released from prison in March of this year on probation. And guess what? We found him in possession of more child porn while he's on probation. We've got him charged so far with two counts. We're still going through the forensics on his computing, computer and obviously violation of probation. Now, here's what's interesting. He does six years in prison. He's released in March. We can see where he's been accessing child porn back to at least May. So he's released from prison. He's still on probation. He did six years, and he immediately goes back to viewing child porn. You know what his statement was? Well, I relapsed. I made a poor choice. Duh. Duh. Me made more than one poor choice. And then there's Char Charles Mabry. <clears throat> Charles is 37. Are you ready for this? He's in prison while he's doing this. That's right. He's in prison. He's in prison for two years for that low-level, nonviolent crime they talk about of methamphetamine and he's in work release you see they're preparing him to go back into society and be successful because it's what they call that low-level nonviolent drug meth not only is he on work release he's got a GPS monitor well guess what while he's in prison on Sundays with his GPS monitor, he's allowed to go to his daddy's house. Um, being a trained detective, guess when he was looking at the child porn? On Sundays at his daddy's house. Still in prison looking at child porn. He does quality control work for Florida Beef in Wachula. We've got him now charged with 53 counts of child porn. 53 counts. So you see what I'm saying? You try to help these rascals out. And this guy, while he's still in prison, 
is looking at child porn. He must have an IQ of about 17 is all I can figure. Well, there you go, my friends. Uh, like I said, it's going to be a two-parter. And I know you probably saw in the first few frames there a little magic done to the title. But uh, you know what? I get tired of these people. You know, uh, they wouldn't monetize my last video, which I took off of YouTube. And I edited it down, took pieces out to shorten it. Because you know how uh, Mr. Grady here, he can go on a bit. And so I probably takes out about 30, 40% of the videos to make them a little more uh, time equitable but anyway uh and it was no good but apparently it was good enough for the news channel to put it up on their uh, platform so this is the kind of stuff that just you know this is what makes people hate youtube and uh i'm starting to you know i don't like to hate anything but uh, yeah i'm starting to anywho y'all uh i'll have part two out tomorrow day after and if y'all are new to the channel, uh, please subscribe, like it, and share it a lot if you can. If you like what you're seeing, I would sure help me uh, grow my channel. That kind of was the goal all along till YouTube started stepping on my neck. But anyway, um, there's going to be a link here coming up with uh, some more videos you may be interested in. So uh, take advantage of them too. Don't I got a lot of videos up on my channel now, so don't be scared to watch them all. Anyway, y'all have a blessed day. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And we'll see you real soon. Bye for now.